The landscape of modern warfare has undergone a profound transformation, rendering the combat effectiveness and training value of legacy systems substantially diminished. In response to this paradigm shift, Pakistan Air Force leadership took the bold and strategic decision to phase out these legacy systems, ensuring that the PAF remains capable and aligned with the current geostrategic and geoeconomic context of the country. The move has been necessitated by the current resource constraints, prompting the need for a thoughtful strategy for the induction of modern systems and indigenous development, ensuring that Pakistan's leverage and security are maintained. Upon assuming command on 21st March 2021, Air Chief Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babar Sidhu, Chief of the Air Staff, Pakistan Air Force, embarked on a rapid modernization journey for the PAF. Recognizing the importance of smart acquisitions and indigenization, prompt approval from the government of Pakistan was sought to integrate cutting-edge technologies from allied countries, aligning with the dictates of contemporary warfare. The worthy Air Chief outlined the parameters for modern warfare, which would transform PAF into a next-generation Air Force. Equipped with state-of-the-art equipment, human resources trained on modern standards, and infrastructure to facilitate collaborative research, development, and innovation in the field of aviation, space, cyber, artificial intelligence, and information technology. Amidst the supply chain challenges stemming from the post-pandemic period, PAF leadership realized that indigenization was fundamental to establish PAF as a potent force in the region. Consequently, the legacy systems were replaced with contemporary warfare architecture to ensure that Pakistan Air Force is fully prepared for full-spectrum cross-domain multi-arena warfare. Under the visionary leadership of the Chief of the Air Staff, a comprehensive strategy was thus adopted to rebalance the power dynamics in the region. A key milestone in this strategic transformation has been the acquisition of fifth-generation stealth fighter jets, the foundation of whose induction into the PAF has already been laid. Moreover, the swift induction of unmanned aerial systems, including hail and mail, category UCAVs, modern electronic warfare platforms, force multipliers, state-of-the-art integrated air defense systems, air mobility platforms, HIMADS, and hypersonic missile capabilities has further bolstered the PAF's arsenal. The thoughtfully planned unveiling of these modern capabilities to domestic, regional, and international audiences has been instrumental in establishing a clear ascendancy within the prevailing geostrategic environment. This strategic modernization effort has effectively checkmated hostile elements and forces of disorder, leaving them devoid of viable response options. Throughout this modernization drive, Air Chief's primary focus has remained on enhancing the combat potential. Notably, this entire modernization endeavor has been achieved through an aggressive timeline. and a thoroughly deliberated stratagem. Furthermore, the foundation of this modernization has been made sustainable through an indigenization campaign based on self-reliance and sustainability. The unwavering financial flexibility and support extended by Pakistan Army leadership reflect the collective wisdom of the entire military leadership 
of Pakistan Armed Forces. The synchronization, synergy and jointness between the tri-services have enabled the PAF's modernization plan to unfold smoothly and swiftly, reaching an unprecedented pace, scope and scale. This concerted effort stands as a testament to the astute vision and leadership of the Pakistan Air Force, ultimately safeguarding the nation's security and strategic interests.